1967. John will talk about one of his interests. Please welcome Toastmaster John to the lecture. Well, we've been up in the sky and underwater. Well, now I'm going to take you now back in time. Mm -hmm. Toastmaster Dwani Shaw, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guest. How many of you are too young to remember 1967? <laughs> okay. okay, for those of you too young, you'll, you'll learn something tonight on how my life was. And for those of you that do remember it, it might be a pleasant review. Because 1967 was an interesting year, 50 years ago today, and it, even the days of the week coincided in, in 1967. By that I mean Wednesday was October 25th in 1967, as well as this year. And my speech was designed so I could converse with adults, because I did that on a regular basis. I was the only adult in my family. All the kids were either like this or like this. And adults like to talk about different things than children do. First thing I had to learn, of course, was sports and entertainment. 1967, you had Expo 67, which was up in Montreal. That was a world's fair, for those of you that were able to attend it. I'm not sure when it opened, it closed at the end of October. And those of you that are movie buffs, Elvis and Priscilla Presley were married in 1967. And born in 1967, but not anything I knew about was Vanilla Ice. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was a little, uh, he was just too young. In sports, First Super Bowl was in 67. Kansas City and Green Bay. Boston Red Sox lost to the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis is world champ. And the Philadelphia 76ers beat the San Francisco Warriors in 1967. And that, well, I could go on and on about sports, but time will not allow it. But the next area in 1967 was Foreign Affairs. Foreign Affairs in 67 had two major things that I wish to talk about. First one was the Israeli Six-Day War. That was a Six-Day War, it still has implications today, where Israel fought with the Arab world, and <coughs> land was exchanged, land was exchanged, and the implications, and they're still playing out today. They are not Things have not been any better or worse, maybe even worse, because of that war. And the other foreign thing that was big to us was Vietnam. Imagine that. Our troop deployment was over 450,000, close to 500,000 in 1967. To put that in proper perspective, that's about five times the population of Boca Raton was over in Vietnam. That doesn't include our troops that were still in Japan from World War II, over in Germany, and other places throughout the world. Not everybody I knew back in that era had some, knew of somebody or had directly somebody affected by the war. Either wounded, came back in a body bag, or something negative from that war. That was part of my year. But was even what really meant something to me was the, what happened domestically. It started out with the lunar program, the Apollo 1 capsule. Scientists who you'd think would have brains filled the cabin was strictly oxygen, and three astronauts burned up needlessly because of a spark that went off in the cabin. Politically, our domestic leaders back in 67, on the Democrat side, was President Lyndon Johnson, Vice President Hubert Humphrey, Senator Robert Kennedy, Eugene McCarthy, and George Wallace. On the Republican side, you had Richard Nixon, Nelson Rockefeller, Ronald Reagan and George Romney. All of these will be prominent figures in the next year, plus you had civil rights leader Martin Luther King. 
King and Bobby Kennedy, unfortunately, were assassinated the following year. We had, in the summer of 1969, 159 race riots throughout the United States. I was flabbergasted when I read that statistic. I knew the big ones. I knew Cleveland. I knew Detroit. I, I knew Newark. I knew several of the big ones. They had race riots down here at Riviera Beach. They were all over the country that year. This country was in total turmoil with, with that respect that year. I remember actually preparing our business. We moved everything out because the, night, the weekend they had it in Cleveland, we were sure they were going to be in Warren, Ohio. It was a tumultuous year that ended on, I guess, a good note. It ended on a good note. But what made 1967 a time capsule for me is it taught me, I think my whole, my whole life growing up, I got used to dealing with these things. Dealing with, I dealt with the Cuban Missile Crisis. I'm not dealing with it, but being explained. And people today don't realize it's something that you have, it's something always going on in the world. 1967 was a time capsule for me. This is my view of the year. And if any of you have any questions or want to know more about it, please contact me after the meeting. Thank you.